My hunger doesn't make me evil. No, your loyalty to Shao Kahn does. I owe him everything, Liu Kang. What's up everyone? It is your boy, Victor Freeze, and we are back with part two of Moving In. Now, oh no, now, part one, we covered the basic basics of Moving In. We covered, we, we lightly touched upon topics. We haven't gone into details on these topics yet. So there's a lot to learn and a lot to get prepared for if this is the step you want to take with your significant other. Or as I like to call them, your worst half, because I'm the better half of both. Of course, of course. So, um, where do I start with this shit? All right, let's go with a typical day. All right. Let's say, you know, a typical day of living together in college, right? So, with me and my girlfriend, I had, I had, to, I had to do it once. I had to do it once. She, she wanted to get mentioned because she hasn't been here with me during these relationship times. But she usually is here. I love you. So, what, what, me, and, what me and her do, you know, usually one has class before the other. So, you know... Here's just a typical day in the life. So nothing special happens this day. This is what usually happens. We go. All right. We go to class. She goes first. I usually sleep in because my classes are later. All right. And usually we see the read. What is a king to a god? Why am I? You can't have a video with Victor fucking Freeze if I don't get the parry in. Like god damn I'm so, I'm I, I love Luke Kang for that. That's probably the main reason I play Luke Kang is for that shit. So, you know, when she gets when she gets home, usually I get up, you know what I'm saying? I play with her boobs a little bit, smack on the ass. Then I go to class. And what my class consists of now is, you know, IT work, also um, audio video. So, you know, that that could cause, that could go from around, you know, 11.30 to 3, 11.30 to 7, it, it could be a long time, you know, and, and during that time, I'm like, man, I really, I really miss my girlfriend, but I gotta do this work, because I need money, you know what I'm saying, and, um, I get home, usually, the, 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 the dorms we live in are, like, the hood dorms, you know what I'm saying, so, like, if there's any, like, basketball or football going on, I might watch a game, talk with the homies, um, you know, girlfriend's not really social like that, so she doesn't really partake, but that's fine, you know, everybody has their thing. And then usually come home, and then we take showers, usually do something together, or I'm playing video games while she's doing her thing, and then we go to bed, start the whole process over. Now, what is the common denominator in that whole story? All of that sounds boring as fuck yes but it is necessary because shit still has to get done it's not all it's not all pieces and rainbows when when you live together it's not all man we just gonna be fucking all day like constant dick and vagina no 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 you know you're gonna have this is gonna this is a normal day for us you know what i'm saying she does her thing and then I gotta get up and do my thing. And then we see each other, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, we, we love each other, so fuck you, you know what I'm saying? But like, that's a normal day. Like, right there. And that day may go on for, uh, like, a, that might be a typical week sometimes. You know? Now, Victor Freeze. You seem like such an energetic and, and fun-loving person. How can you have such a boring day like that? Well, it's because, you know, work has to get done at the end of the day. If y'all want if y'all want this relationship to stay, because we're not we're not we're not high schoolers no more. You know what I'm saying? We don't have our families to look out for us. We need money, alright? And we or if we're not making money, we need to be in, in the process of learning something that will make us money. So that means we put in work. And let me let me see what let me see what else is moving in. You gotta get used to not not having sex all the time. You know, if if you're 
I can only speak for me and my my thing, you know. I was like in high school, we, like any time that me and my and girlfriend got alone, we fucking like that just what it was because we didn't get to see each other as often, you know, and we didn't get to see each other as often, and we only got to see each other for the first year 30 minutes a day because we only had lunch together and then the next year we had a class together but that was like like that was like not that that thing either you know what i'm saying so we didn't get to see so the read butterfly in the sky i can go twice as high why am I so godlike at this shit? Why am I so? Why am I god tier at the read? Holy shit! I that is the fucking Luke Hag, man. Fuck! I love that. I get so hyped when I do that shit. It's just I have low health. I I know you just want to kill me. Read. You're dead. Holy shit. I mean, I mean, why else would you play Liu Kang, really? Holy shit, that is awesome. But yeah, where the fuck was I? Yeah, I'm only speaking from my ex ex experience, you know. And yeah, you know, when, in high school, of course, when we saw each other, we're gonna we're gonna do all kinds of crazy shit. Now, I mean, while we're living together, crazy shit's not gonna happen on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Now, certain occasions, yeah. But not on not on the daily, not like like hey it like like it's not like hey let's fuck it should be like yeah no 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 it's not gonna go that easy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta you gotta know how she's feeling. Sometimes you gotta know how 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 you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? You may wanna do it, she may be having a bad day. You gotta talk to her about that, and maybe that bad day consists. Maybe it persists on, onward, to the next day, the next day. You, you remember, we're not just dating a sex toy. That's, a, that's what I had to learn, you know, and that's a, tough, that's a tough thing to learn. You're not just dating a sex toy. You're dating someone who has actual feelings and emotions and someone that you, that relies upon you, in, in my occasion, that relies upon you to, you know, give them positive influences, positive reinforcement. Because she gets a lot of negative reinforcement, so I gotta be the one positive. And like, learning that was tough. That's just not easy, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot more responsibility than just, hey, we're gonna get a place, and then, you know, we're gonna fuck, and then, you know, you're gonna make me dinner, and then, you know, everything's gonna be very good. No, there's more things to it. Like, once you start moving in, you'll start realizing just certain things will just piss both of you are like I hate I absolutely hate when people chew while they eat and like every time a pizza comes upon us she fucking chews while she eats and I'm like yo what the fuck <laughs> you hear me no let's not do that and there's certain things that I do that she wouldn't like be like you know I really don't like that you don't clean anything the fuck up. And I'm like, listen, man, I am what I am. So, you know, it, it, it's different things that you, you got to take into account. It's not all going to be hunky dory, man. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be arguments, especially if y'all stubborn. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be arguments. It's going to be fucking times where she's like, you know what? There's going to be times where, you know, she's like, you know what, man, I just want to alone because I, I don't like seeing you at the moment and that doesn't mean that she doesn't want to see you at all everyone needs their alone time you know what I'm saying that's that's a very important part of, of being together so you know what it's easy to have alone time when you don't see each other all fucking day you know what I'm saying but when you gotta like when you gotta spend a vast amount of time with this person you gotta you gotta deal with that shit you know what I'm saying I need my alone time okay well, that's fine you gotta be that person and or if she's like hey you know 
taking taking criticism. Hey, I think you should do this a little bit better. Now, there are ways to say it, as I've said in the last video. There are ways to say that shit. Not just, hey, little nigga, why you keep doing it? No, no, no. Sometimes people are slow. You gotta walk us through it. I don't like that you did this. Here's how it makes me feel. I promise you I will listen after that. Not, hey, you little dick-ass nigga, why do you keep doing this? That's not gonna get me to listen. That's just gonna get me to say, fuck you, bitch, and keep playing my, my Gran Turismo, all right? But there, there's ways to say things. And, like, you know... And men, there's there's also ways to to give encouragement to your, your girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm only speaking from my experience. There's a lot of times where I had to give encouragement. There's a lot of times where, you know, the, she felt like she couldn't do it, and I was the only person that's that has that had the opportunity to say, you know what, you can do it. You can get this done if you really if you really try. If you really put the effort and the time in, you can get it done. And did I think that, because would I ever think like that? No. I would never think that I couldn't do it. But in that instance, I had to realize that she thought like that. And I had to realize that she was going to keep thinking like this if I didn't step in and be like, listen. You can, you can do this. You have the opportunity to do this. If you don't step in like that, it's never going to get better. You know? It's never, it's never, that's not going to change. And then you're going to be upset because you're like, man, why does she keep feeling this way? I don't get it. Well, she just wants to hear from somebody sometimes. Like, this is, this is only for me. I can only speak for me. She just wants to hear that someone believes in her. You know? And like, being a boyfriend is more than... A lot of a lot of people that go into it thinking that's why I think most relationships fail is that one you got to be a, a, a motivational speaker, you got to be a, a caretaker, you got to be um, Mr. Marcus, you got to be. Um, <laughs> I just tried to slip Mr. Marcus in and I couldn't even finish the fucking joke. <laughs> fucking shit! You know you gotta be Mr. Marcus. You gotta to, at least to her. You gotta be Mr. Marcus to her. You gotta be, you know, you gotta be a lot of things that, you gotta be anything that she needs. And if she, if you feel like you're not getting paid back for that, you shouldn't be with her. But if this is the right relationship, she'll pay you back for all of that hard work and time you put into her. It's just like playing, it's just like playing fighting games. You'll only get in the, you only get out the amount you put in. Let's say I play Mortal Kombat for 20 minutes a day, which you, this video is longer than 20 minutes, so you know that's bullshit. But let's say I only played Mortal Kombat for 20 minutes a day, and then I jumped online and like, man, why the fuck am I losing? You know what I'm saying? Why, why am I, why am I losing this game? No, no, it don't. They, see, you didn't put the time in. You didn't put the time and the effort in. That's why you're losing. You know what I'm saying? The same as the relationships. If I give her all of this, if I if I lend a helping hand, if I put effort into things that I may seem mon that may seem mundane to me, but is important to her, or if if I put in, if I do things that she loves that she knows I doesn't like, but she loves to do it and I do it. Like there was this one instance where me and me and me and babe we was out. You know what I'm saying? Um, we was out watching, um, watching the best battle rapper ever, Young God ATM, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out. You better, you better, you better, you better, you know, share my shit though, if I'm shouting you out. You know what, that's, that's another topic for another day. But we was out, we was watching the best battle rapper ever. Then, you know, she tasked me, and was like, hey, there's an ice skating ring. You know? I mean, not an ice skating ring, there's a, there's a skating ring. And I'm like, fuck. One, I'm bad at skating. Two, I always break something when I'm skating. One time it was my thumb, another time it was a part of my rib. A lot of shit could go bad skating. That's what I'm trying to say. But I know she loves to skate. And she was like, you know what, we don't have to go skating if, if, you, if you don't want to. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be this nigga that ruins her skating experience because I can't fucking skate. So I was like, you know what, let's go skate. Now, was I hanging around the corners the whole time? Yes. 
Did I ever skate in the middle? No. Did I ever skate with her? Yes, and I almost bust my ass. And she was like, you know what? I'ma just go skate. <laughs> but like, was I did I but did I stop her from skating? Nope. Nope. I'm like, you know what? Go ahead, babe. Do all the tricks you want to do. I'ma hang around this corner. You know what I'm saying? And I fucking hate skating. Like, fuck I now skate now if she was like, let's go skateboarding. Oh, I would've had a, that would've been an ass, you know what I mean? I would've been, I would've been fucking doing ollie flips, kick flips, dark slides, I would've been doing all that shit. It, you may not think I can skate, mainly because I'm black, but no, actually, back in high school, I used to be a big skater, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a phase, mom. So, you know, and she, she, she was so happy that she, she went, she, I took her skating and paid for it because she knows I can't, first of all, I can't skate, I don't like skating, and I'd probably never go to a skating ring by myself. But I did it for her, and she paid me back. By suck, and you know, anyway, she paid me back. That's, that's all that needs to be known. You know what I'm saying? But that's a good example of putting this, yeah, I'm a teabag, I fucking hate Sonya. All these people that downplay Sonya, oh, Sonya's not top five. You know, she just has the best fucking zoning in the game. Oh, you know Shang Tsung's course drop that everyone hates? Sonya has that too. Let's, let's not bullshit. Jade cannot phase through her turret drop. I don't want to hear this anymore. She's the best zoner in the game. I don't want to hear that shit. So anyway, I had to go on a little rant. Niggas be like, man, Sonya's, Sonya, you know, Sonya's mid-tier. Like, nigga, what? You, you should see all of her flaws. Y'all, all the flaws that Liu Kang has with his fucking whiffing problems. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take Sonya's flaws any day of the goddamn week. So, anyway. That's a great example of putting some time in and getting a porn star later. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it just has to happen like that. She's just not going to turn into... Ooh, you see that kick, bitch? Like, she's not just going to turn into porn star. You got to put in work. Um, do I have any other time to do that? No, not really. But, yeah. A natural day in the life... It's just you doing your thing, she doing her thing, and then maybe one time, you know, you do something. Like, there's things, and also you gotta take criticism. Like, she wishes that I would watch movies with her more, you know? That was fucking sick. Did you see that shit? She just jumped over the fucking double fireballs with a short hop. I know that was a mistake, the, or uh, unless he's a god. He may be a god. But like she wishes I would watch movies with her more, cause I I I I, I mean I watch movies with her, but like, I just want to play like Mortal Kombat. But I gotta do that. I gotta get better at that at least. You gotta at least put effort in, cause you know she loves movies and I love movies too. It's not like I don't like movies. It's like man, this MK is pretty good right now. Or back in the day, man, this God of War is pretty good right now. You know what I'm saying? Two years ago, this God of War was that shit. It was supposed to win Game of the Year. I'm so happy it did. And, um, yeah, she would wish I, wa I would watch movies with her more. She wishes, she wishes that, you know, I'd do more things with her, and I gotta get better at that. I mean, and I wish for things, too. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you gotta talk about it. You gotta put it out there, and you gotta make an effort to make it better. You know? Like, there's this thing that, you know, that I would like done. But she gave me a valid reason why she's like, I, I'm not going to bring it up. If you bring it up, then it will happen. But like, I'm not going to bring it up. So it's like, OK, well, that's a valid reason. I gave her a valid reason why I don't watch movies with her. Because like, you see Raiden on the screen? Like, I, I'm about to watch movies over over playing Ray Dog, you know what I'm saying? Please give Raiden some buffs. Fuck. Anyway, this ain't a, this ain't a buffs and nerds video. This is a relationship. So there's certain things that have to be done if you want this this moving in process to work. One, your expectations. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be what you high schoolers think when you first get in. It's not gonna be like, oh, I just I just get the fucker all day. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. You gotta nurture. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. You gotta support. You gotta put time in. Like, 
you only you only get out what you put in. If you put in maximum effort, and if she's not an asshole, she will give you maximum. If she really loves you, she'll give you maximum effort. Now everyone has flaws. Okay, we're not saying that she's gonna be perfect if you if you try to be perfect. But if she notices that you're doing all of these things. And she's not an asshole. Big, big thing. She has to not be an asshole. If she's not an asshole, she'll 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 put that effort back into you, into the things you like. It's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tie you to this pole, and she'll be like, all right. So anyway, you got you got you got to know all these things. If and the biggest part about moving in, well, not the biggest biggest part. But the biggest part is for part three. But the, one of the biggest parts about moving in that I had to learn is, um, yeah, we need money to live. <laughs> like, uh, I, I used to wonder where all that peroxide came from until I had to go to the store and buy peroxide. So, um, here's the one thing my dad always told me ruin relationships. Money. You can love a girl as much as you want. But if you're broke, she'll be very more likely to not give a fuck about what you talk about. And I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm okay with money. And you know, I like to think my my other part is okay with money. Uh, nah, I can't really lie. She's not great. But listen, we're working on it. Alright, we're we're working. But you know, she's not horrible. You know, but that's one thing I also had to learn. Listen, you kind of need money in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We need money, and we need. Oh, you see that kid? This. We need money, and we need things to buy with that money. You know, it can't just be. You know, let's go out to eat all the way. We, we do go out to eat a lot. The raid. What you reading, Victor? Did you see that sexy nigga on the screen tell you what I just did to this man? Why do every why does everybody wake up against Liu Kang? Don't do it! You're gonna die. If I read it, you're dead. <laughs> like, if if I read that, that is half of your life. Stop doing that shit. But anyway, you know, yeah, I need money to live. You know, and yes, Steak and Shake is very great, but we can't go to Steak and Shake every day. I wish we can go to Steak and Shake every day, but we cannot, and it's a shame. Shed one tear. But, um, yeah, you gotta be good with money. You gotta buy the essentials first, and then if you have any excess, then we go to Steak and Shake and take out, you know what I'm saying? We like to go on trips, even though we haven't been on many trips, we like to go on them. So we need money for that shit. So... You need, you need to you need to prioritize is pretty much what I'm getting. At. Prioritize your money, prioritize the things that you have to do, knock those out, and then the fun ensues. Cause one thing about being adult, and everybody's like, man, I wish I. Oh, you see that kid, bitch? I know everybody's like, man, I'd, I'd rather be a kid. No, you know why I wouldn't rather be a fucking kid? Cause I can't go to fucking Galveston as a fucking kid without my parents. You know what I'm saying? I can't go to fucking San Antonio as a kid without my parents. Alright, I can't buy this Motel 6 and ruin the room with my girlfriend without my parents. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, what? I'd rather be a fucking adult. I mean, yeah, you gotta put in work. But after is but after that work, you get to go to a Motel 6 and ruin the house. I mean, ruin the room. It's a good thing. You gotta try that once. At least once. So, um, yeah. So... But the biggest thing apart about moving in, I will have to tell you next time. This is going to be a three-part series. Part one is already out. Please go watch that if you haven't already. It's going to be under relationship times in the playlist. Y'all know I always come with the cool content. Combat League will be coming after these set of videos, I promise you. And there is some great shit that ensues. It's Victor fucking Freeze, and I'll see y'all next time.